The feeling of abundance is the feeling of well-being. It's the feeling of good attracting. It's the feeling of good creation. It's the feeling of worthiness. It's the feeling of being in the right place. It's the feeling of being blessed. It's the feeling of being fortunate. It's the feeling of being in the right place at the right time. It's the it's not just a, my point of attraction. We're speaking from you. My point of attraction isn't just about money flowing. It's about ideas flowing and people flowing. And when people and ideas and money flow together. It's so exhilarating to be able to merge all of those things together of people and places and ideas and the and the means to accomplish it. It's ease. It's fun. It's full. It's who I am. I have the leverage of the universe supporting me. The energy that creates worlds is flowing to me and through me. I feel invincible and and complete and sure and eager. I feel eager about you see you see how it gets going. Before you know it, you just you're just on top of the world, and nothing. It, and the financial experience in this moment is irrelevant to this equation because your point of attraction has been enhanced, and you are rich with a vibrational offering that just brings this and this and this and this and this. And besides, the reason that you want any of that anyway is for the feeling of it. And once you accomplish the feeling of it, now you're there where the details have to fill in. It is law. It must happen. It has to happen. It can't not happen. Once you achieve that grid, everyone that you know, for, no matter how they got there, has that going on. If, if they're in, and do you know anyone who is finding financial balance, but doesn't have the other balance? Of course you do. In other words, the, the, the more you work on these grids and the more they line up, then the more you'll feel good in all moments regarding all things. You have come forth from your non-physical perspective into what we see as the most dynamic and perfect of environments anywhere. You have come forth into the leading edge of thought and you did not choose it lightly. You chose it deliberately and powerfully with all of the defining power that you as a source energy being have. And you said, I will go forth into this magnificent physical time space reality of great variety and diversity. For I know within it, I will find so much that I can turn my undivided, meaning my source energy attention to. You said, I know the beauty of this place. And in this place of diversity, the beauty that I'm speaking of is not only the stuff that I think I want, that I would like my nest to be feathered with, but it is the stuff that I don't want that helps me to more explicitly define what I do want. I know that I'm a creator and that I need an environment, a palette of paint, if you will, from which to paint. I know that I need an environment that helps me to focus my mind and choose. And I've chosen in this time, in this body, under these circumstances, this time space reality, because I knew then and I know now that it will evoke within me clear desire and that the larger part of me has now, even now, even now, even now, there it is again, there it is again, become it. I understand here in my physical body, you say, that my work, my only work is to come into alignment with that expanded being that I am. And when I do, the look of this place is almost beyond verbal description. As I walk amongst the people, I see the variety of who they are, and I see the power and cleverness of who they are, and I see even more that which they are becoming. And so in the war and in the confusion and in the argument, I see not just improvement, I see a new world erupting because I see the expanded version of life as a result of mass consciousness's individual focusing in its individual perspective. I stand in my physical body, you say, and I'm living my life as broadly as I can. And I'm squabbling about salt and I'm worried about this and I'm worried about that. But I am defining who I am by reaching for source energy's perspective relative to each thing that I live. And as I allow myself to come into concert with that which is source, as I live the details of my day-to-day -day life experience, I let myself in on the benefit of all of those generations that have gone before. And most important, I let myself in on the benefit of that which I've created right here, right now, in this body, in this physical time-space reality. 
As we watch you from our non-physical vantage point, the appreciation we feel for that which you are cannot be accurately spoken in words. But we want you to know, as clearly as Esther can find the words for us to express to you, we want you to know that everything that you are living is causing an expansion of that which you are and therefore an expansion of that which we are. And we revel in that expansion. We never for a moment mourn you're not coming along with us. We never for a moment, frankly, even notice that you haven't come along. We do not look back and wonder if you're there. We only look in our undivided fashion at that which you have carved out because we know that as we look at that which you have become and hold a steady gaze upon it and offer a vibration only about that, that if you're listening carefully enough, you will catch the call of source and you will begin moving in the direction of it. And maybe some of you will move closer in the direction of it today and maybe some of you will not move there until you croak and come all along but every single one of you without exception will come along with that which you we you we have created and in all of that is joyful joyful expansion you did not come into these bodies to have growth you came into these bodies because growth was inevitable and you wanted to enjoy that growth the basis of your life is freedom. You did not come to make something happen. You came forth because you knew the happening would be inevitable and you knew you would enjoy the leading edge perspective of it. Nothing is broken in your world. Nothing needs to be changed. Nothing needs to be different. And yet everything is constantly changing because it is the inevitable nature of that which is eternal. So as you decide to go with the flow of your eternal nature, and as you stop nitpicking about the way in which you go and you just understand that you cannot help but go and you stop comparing yourself to the way others are going and you stop criticizing them because they're not doing it right or criticizing you because you're not doing it right and instead you see yourselves all as adding to the contrast that is adding to the expansion in time you will find yourselves as we find ourselves in love with each and every one of you and when you love others as we love you, you're going to remember what source is because you will be it. I can feel the stream of abundance approaching me because things that have never happened to me before are beginning to show up. So I know my vibration around money is improving and there's no end to what that improvement will be. And it's going to be fun for me over the next days to watch different evidences showing me that I'm really sniffing out the trail of abundance. And I accept that 99% of every creation is complete before I see any physical evidence. And so it's all right if it doesn't flow right into my hands this red hot minute. I can be patient here a little bit. I've learned to settle in here and I'm, I'm all right in waiting for this and I'm actually beginning to feel my impatience turning to a little bit of eagerness it's going to be exciting to watch the way the universe displays to me in a way that is meaningful where I can consciously recognize that my energy is shifting and I can feel that even in this conversation that I'm having with myself that I'm moving systematically into that stream of money that I'm wanting and I'm not asking for it to come all at once although it can I'm asking it to come through my crack of least resistance Distance, which I'm working on right now and it's exciting to me to anticipate the adventure and the surprises and the ways in which it will flow and I'm appreciating already my knowledge about my own guidance system and I'm appreciating my understanding of the law of attraction and I'm appreciating the people that are showing in a demonstrating way that abundance can flow into their experiences and I'm looking forward to meeting people who can tell me their stories about how they were in desperate straits not very long ago and then money began to flow and I like hearing from them especially the part where they say I can't believe that it was always there for me or I have the sensation of oh where have you been all along in other words it's an interesting thing to be on one side of the manifestation in one moment and on the other side of the manifestation in the other moment and I'm looking forward to breaking through that but in the meantime I'm happy to be on this side of the manifestation because I'm feeling better and better and better I've improved my life in so many different ways and I'm eager to begin to see the stream of money flow into my experience I know that I'm worthy of it I know that that's not what the question is I know now that I've just been a little bit vibrationally out of whack 
and I can feel that conversations that I'm having with myself like this are bringing me vibrationally into alignment. I'm understanding that my work is this emotional journey. It's not about getting out there and beating the pavement. It's not about finding the vortex, the specific vortex through which the money will flow. I don't want only one specific vortex. I want many vortexes to open. I want to be the focal point where enormous sums of money begin to flow into my experience. I have activated my imagination. There's no end to my ideas of what I will do with this stream of money. It's great fun. I love the idea of playing the game where I'm spending the money. I love the sensation of the money being in my pocket and I love the sensation of expressing it out there into the universe and I love the economy that I benefit as I hire one more to do one more thing or as I buy one more thing and bring it home. But most of all, I enjoy the sensation of freedom and it's interesting to note that I am having that sensation of freedom right now even though my dollars have not changed at all in this moment. I've broken through the emotional journey. I can feel that I've cleaned up my vibration. I'm much closer. Maybe 70% of that 99.99 .99 is in place. I'm willing to play this game. Who wouldn't want to play this game? It's exhilarating to play this game. It's life-giving to play this game. I could play this game all day, every day. Oh, wouldn't it be nice if I have that? Won't it be nice when I have that? Won't it be nice if I have that? I feel such appreciation for the abundance that's flowing into my experience. There's abundance that's coming to me in so many ways. I have the abundance of clarity. I have the abundance of stamina. I have the abundance of health. I have the abundance of friends. I have the abundance of so many things. And now the universe is getting ready to give me the abundance of dollars, the abundance of being able to prove to myself that I am in alignment with all that I want and that it is true that there is nothing that I cannot be or do or have. That's what I want most of all, I say to the universe. I want personal acknowledgement that there is nothing that I cannot be or do or have. And money is part of it. Money might even be a big part of it. I can feel money on its way to me. And I'm grateful for it even as it begins to flow. And I'm proud of myself for the work that I am doing. And I'm eager to improve where I am. And I'm happy where I am. I'm doing very well. I've come so far. I'm proud of where I am. I know that the universe sees me as I am. I can get on these rampages anytime that I want to. I'm going to work on these rampages more and more because they just feel so darn good. In fact, in a rampage like this, whether the money comes or not right now, this red hot minute is no big issue to me. I know it's coming. I'm not even wondering if it's coming. I'm not hoping that it's coming. I'm not even believing that it's coming. I know that it's coming. It's just a matter of time. No, it's not even a matter of time. Time. It's just a matter of my alignment with what I want. And it's all right that I want it. Time space reality has given me the ability to discern it. I've launched rockets of desire and they're over there pulsing with me and source and inner being are in alignment with them saying, come this way, come this way, come this way, come this way, come this way. And I can tell by the thoughts that I'm thinking right now, I have come that way. I'm there. I'm there vibrationally. And now let the money roll in. Yes. Yeah.